Hey all, welcome back. Um, this video is coming as an inspired video from the, well, two things. One, I just came from an awesome event about sleep. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, today's topic. And also a great YouTube video I watched this morning. I'm going to have the link below. It's very motivational and very, you know, push me to do this video today. So, but first, I'm going to read a quote. After climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. Nelson Mandela. That's a cool little quote. Like I said, today's topic is going to be about sleep and how important sleep is and kind of, uh, you know, a realization that hit me like a ton of bricks, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, the event I went to was a panel of sleep professionals, doctors. Um, someone was from a big company that tracks activity. So it was very, um, very inspiring, very, you know, very in your face, like, hey, here's how it is. So listen to us. <laughs> and you may also notice today, the lighting's different. You know, I actually have some natural light coming in here. Reason is because I'm not recording in the middle of the night, which is what I usually do for two reasons: um, a little bit more privacy at night, as well as um, oftentimes when I record, I can hear traffic from outside. So I'm like, well, I want to record when I don't hear traffic. So hopefully, the audio quality on this is good, and you don't hear too many cars going by. But today's topic is about sleep deprivation. As I, like I said, the event I went to. As I went to sleep deprived, they talked about sleep and how important sleep is. And you'd think it's pretty obvious, but, um, you know, not getting enough sleep. And it could vary from person to person, but they were saying generally, you know, six to eight hours, six being the minimum sleep needed. I mean, oftentimes I, I'm getting four to five hours and I'm thinking, you know, in my head, I'm like, yeah, it's all good. That's, that's what, how much sleep I should be getting. But then I realized how much coffee I drink the next day. And uh, I'm like, well, that's why I have enough energy the next day is because I'm, you know, consuming so much caffeine. So relating to the quote, you know, my first mountain or my first hill to climb will be to get more sleep and getting more sleep will help me be, you know, be, be more productive during the day. And I think it's everything that, you know, you guys should try too. So get more sleep and see how the next day you know, next day, next couple weeks, you know, kind of how, how things will change. The guy who was at the conference and he was talking about, you know, tracking, a lot of people will track their activity. You know, I do as well. A lot of people track their food. But how many people, you know, even a lower percentage of people track their sleep and the sleep being the root of productivity. And I just was sitting there, I was like, wow, of course, of course more sleep. And I realized... You know, days I don't get as much sleep, you know, it, it adds up days you don't get enough sleep. Days you don't get enough sleep, you're, you know, you're not as sharp. You're not, you know, you don't retain as much memory. Uh, gosh, I mean, the list would go on and on. And I will link a couple resources about sleep and why it's important in the description below. Hope that you found this information useful. Maybe kind of get some things going in your brain, um, some things to think about. And if you, you know, you do feel things aren't going well for you, just maybe think about all your habits, different habits you have. And you're like, oh, what can I change? And, you know, kind of do a self-experiment. Like, hey, if I get more sleep, am I going to be more productive? Am I going to be better with people? Um, you know, things like that. Like I said, that's all I have. So like, comment, subscribe, you know, social media at AFI channel and uh, have a great one. See you in the next video.